Story Models Kit Review Time, something we've had, to be honest, uh, around for a long time. I'm just about to start building it, so I thought we'd run through the review. We've got today Meng, a 135th scale. This is the new Terminator fire support vehicle. Absolutely fantastic. If you want a good looking piece of armor, this is definitely it. It looks like very futuristic being like that. Something from Terminator. Hence its name. Okay, so said so fantastic box art on the front of everything else, as you can see, like this. Running through the kit, as you can see, we've got some nice pictures there from when it's been at various arms exposed and things like that. So your kit number is TS101. Okay, and we've got another one on the back just down there. Obviously, talking about the actual system itself and everything else. So the box is the first thing you notice. This is really heavy and it is, you know, solid, absolutely rock hard okay so down here as you can see absolutely stuffed full they're very good plastic boxes as well okay so we're just going to dive in amongst all of this and hopefully find the instructions okay so down in the instructions usual way of doing it talking about obviously the history of fire support and all the rest of it with the bmp series all your various languages all about it color call outs so usual thing we've got the vallejo colors down there and everything else we can run right through and then obviously straight into the thing now we do like men these days their gear their hulls and everything else absolutely fantastically detailed so road wheels going together obviously drive sprockets idlers things like that return wheels and everything else being put on and then on the chassis we've actually got this plow system it looks like on the front uh, as it fits down into there and then we've got an active suspension these have got the actual torque bar type system on it so they actually do work okay so actually having those then systems going down on the sides and then showing you this sort of plating that it has down on those and then onto the other side more of the parts going on fitting the actual uh, idle wheel and the drive sprocket going down on there and then we got this thing about making the track which unfortunately is the old type oh god i must admit i was a big fan of their one for the models they come recently where you didn't have this pin system that it goes in it does work but when they break you're in a lot of trouble okay but you can use this track system for actually putting it together it does work but as i said just be very careful with it because if it breaks it is a little bit of a one-way trip Putting on the actual track system, obviously you wouldn't, you'd do it later, and then working onto the upper hull, so obviously we've got the actual driving lights, things like that, front uh, plate going on down in there, the actual rings for the cruise, okay, and that armour front plate going on there, and then obviously all the bits and pieces you can imagine, front fenders and everything going on. The grill looks like we're in photo etch as well, which is a very nice touch, that gives some nice detail. And then obviously the upper part of the lower hull going on together, okay, and then working its way down through all the storage bins, the access bins and everything else like that, as you can imagine, all the way over these, of which is going to be quite a lot, okay. So running all the way down on these, the side skirts being fitted onto those, the additional plating system going on there for the armour set, okay, and then up into the top, okay. So down here we've got all the systems you might imagine for all the crew hatches, uh, and everything else looks like these are photo etch are these going to be photo etch not sure about those being a photo etch uh being put down onto there for the actual these front periscope systems that it actually has which is a very nice touch okay more grills more bits and pieces all being fitted onto there okay and then we are into this sort of i wouldn't say upper turret but it's uh, somewhat like it okay and then obviously we're coming around with all the parts being put on those all the actual targeting hatches and pods and various pods uh, targeting systems and optics i mean on those okay and then obviously more of it then we've got this great gun assembly with twin uh, guns on the front okay which is going to be the bit in the middle okay which you look absolutely fantastic okay and then more turret systems going on being fitted onto the side of those things and then more of that turret system all being put together then we've actually got the tow units uh, obviously like the tow missile systems going onto those and then obviously them being fitted in which gives it that really distinctive look okay then we got obviously down the front here the mine clearing uh, options okay so it looks like we've got a couple of options down in here uh, for actually put in the positioning of those and how you actually want those to go on okay the mine clearing set being put on the front as I say, this kit gives you loads of different sort of, you know, things to do, options, positioning, everything else. And then the turret goes on top, okay? And then we've got these great color schemes. So you've got your standard sort of Russian uh, color scheme down there like that. You've got the sort of more of the Middle Easty type colors, okay? Splinter, which, you know, I've got to make my decision on which way to do it. I'd love to do Splinter. I think Splinter would look great on this particular one, purely because it is something a little bit different. 
as you can see it running over here in the tricolor system of the light tan, mid tan, dark, okay, right the way over it. As I said, it's one of those tanks you look at and you think, that looks cool. Okay, that looks really good, all right? So, running through some of the sprues. Okay, what have I done with my knife? Trusty knife. Okay, so obviously we've reviewed things like the uh, T90, we've done the Bradley and all their other armor sets, and we are very impressed of what we see. Okay, so now on here, if we zoom in, as you can see, we've got some great looking parts, very nice detail, all done in this deep green. I'm not sure this is maybe feeling a little bit releasey. I've got various oils coming off on me. It's not so much on the parts, but it's on the sprues. Okay, so it might be worth giving these a wash before you start on them. But hopefully you can see some very nice detail. All of these hinges and that in different textures right the way over this, which give it very much a nice three-dimensional look straight off the bat. Okay, even before it's together. And then obviously on the blind side, all the actual ejector pins are very recessed and very shallow right the way through those. There's no ejector pins in any points as we now know with the way that they do it. But as you can see, some very nice detail. I love this detail up around here, these areas. Very nice indeed. Whilst we've got it here, let's have a look at the hull. Okay, let me catch some of the various parts. So as you see, we've got, this is where the torsion bar suspension system sort of fits in, into those down there, okay? So that's on that one, very nicely done. You can see nice detail on all of these, right the way through, nothing skimped on the underside as well, showing full detail with the escape hatches and everything else put on there. A couple of little tiny prim pick marks here from the injection molding, just need to whip them out of the way and everything else. But as you can see, very nice, very firm actually. It feels, you know, it feels very solid very chunky. Okay, the top part, as I said, doesn't look much like this, but once you get all those parts onto it, as you can imagine, it will really come to life, okay, as you make your way through. They've had a clean up, they've taken out obviously all the raised pins and they haven't gone through at all anywhere, which is very nice. But you can see not much detail on here, but it shows obviously all the promise. Again, multi-texturing, texture on obviously the sides here versus internals and things like that, all different textures all over it, very nicely done. The top of the turret, okay, as you can see, again, got the plating for the armor set, which we were talking about this before, is really, really sharp. You know, when you run your finger, you know, I feel like you're gonna cut your finger open on that. Really nice stuff all the way through. Very nice indeed. No problem. Clean, crisp, beautifully molded, and the same cleaned up as well underneath, as you can see. Poly caps, as you can imagine, for going onto the road wheels. Okay, and then we'll just work our way through the bags. So, down in here, we've got the side skirts for the armoured side skirts and the grilling in there. Again, very sharp. You run your finger over it, it, it catches your, your actual finger, okay, which is great. It means it's very clean, crisp, sharp moulding all on these. You see, you catch them in the light, you can see them. All these small parts, you know, beautifully moulded, no problem at all. These headlight protectors and everything else, very, very nice. All of those, the wing mirrors, absolutely fine, beautifully done. And again, been cleaned up on the inside as well. Even this bit of chain hanging just down here. That looks absolutely fantastic, very nicely done. Very clean, very crisp, all of this one. Okay, so down in here we've got a, a raised plug. Okay, so down here obviously we've got the front fenders, beautifully done, very nicely done. And obviously we've got these here for the actual wraps uh, around the, the sort of gaiters, around the actual guns themselves, beautifully done, very nicely molded, very nice. It's always very clean, crisp with Meng. There's one thing with all Meng builds, you look at them and they're very sharp, very precise modeling. Okay, this is the sort of, you know, your top tier of armour these days, in my definite opinion. Very nice, all of those. As you can see, this is absolutely stuffed. Okay. So, again, some of the smaller parts, we're starting to look through some of these now, as you can see on Sprue P here. Obviously a lot for the actual uh, workings and mechanics and everything else. I think a lot of this is to do with the, the actual plow system on the front, but you can probably see all of these cleats and various cutters and all these different things down on here. Absolutely beautifully molded. The bolt heads and the, the things like that, very sharp, very clean. Okay, right the way over. 
And again, everything's on the blind side. With Ming, I don't think we have to worry about ejector pins because they never ever show. Very nice indeed. Okay, and then up in here, so we've got the bottom collar for the actual turret, and these are the side parts, I do imagine, for the actual main gun system uh, on the turret as well. Again, very nicely done. The bolt head's beautifully done. Again, this is really sharp to the touch. Okay, but as you can see, very, very nicely done. No problem with any of that whatsoever. And down on the blind side, as you can imagine, everything's neat, tidy, out of the way. Got a little bit going on just around this guy here. A couple of swipes just to make sure it doesn't foul anything, but no problem with that at all. Really nice indeed. Okay, so down here looks like we've got the tubes for the sort of tow missile system. And I know it's not a tow missile system before somebody says it's not a tow missile because it's Russian, but they're equivalent. Okay, so optical missiles. Okay, down on there, very nicely done. Again, it's the, I love about the difference in texture. Difference in texture as it makes its way through. So you've got like smooth, you catch it in the light, you can probably see it uh, on those, but you actually get, you know, the polished are reflecting heavily and then not. But generally, as you're looking around it all, very nice indeed. Beautifully done. Very nice. No problem with any of that. Okay, so this is a lot of the grilling work and things like that. Okay, so as I say, we've got all these grills, very nicely done, clean, no flash between any of these whatsoever, which is a beautiful little touch. Okay, so this is sprue B and it's not photo etched, but this checker plate on the top, very nicely done, catch it in the light, which I don't think it'll reflect, obviously, with your checker plate. But there we go, some nice stuff going down there and everything else, and obviously these hatches, all the bits and pieces, anywhere that's checker plates, very nicely done, all over it. Can't see any problem with that. The sprues all look very shiny, and I can feel it on my fingers. Got a little bit of release agent going on here. Okay, into smaller sprue land. Okay, as you can see, absolute tons. This is the upper plates and various things on the front and the bottom of the mine plow. Again, sharp, crisp detail on all of these. Very nice textures as you make your way right the way over it. Some really, really nice stuff. Very nice stuff indeed. Okay, now I've got a plan to build this before Telford. If that happens or not, <laughs> watch this space. But I've got a plan. This will be my final build before Telford. Obviously, we've got the Helix coming up next week, and then we've got this one. Again, you can probably see it here. This is release agent. Yuck. Horrible. Greasy, yucky. It's the first time I've actually found it. But when you have it in your fingers, it feels like silicon. Not nice at all. Okay, but there we go. That's why it's reflecting so much. It's covered in it. So these are going to need a wash before you get going with them. But it gives you this type of thing. So this, uh, the cable system running down the side here, very, very thin, beautifully done. No problem with that at all. It enables all these very nice parts to come out very clean, crisp and smaller parts. So right the way down to these handles as well, these little grab handles, you catch them on here they are absolutely fantastic beautifully done very very nice indeed okay all of those and it is nice to see that you know these days especially with armor um the armor guys i always used to say had it easier because you didn't have trouble with seam lines and all things like that you know now i've built quite a bit of armor i take it all back but <laughs> the kits these days absolutely just fantastic the level of detail and you don't have to do as much cleanup with them through a little bit of thought process again this is covered in release agent very nice all these parts so you got down here the actual idler wheel and everything else it's like drum ends things like that on these beautifully done very nice indeed so on sprue f here we've got a match pair for two of these Okay, and then this is the road wheels. There'll be multiples of these, so we'll just have a look at one. Again, love these road wheels, absolutely fantastic. They look big, heavy, and chunky as they should be. Okay, no problem at all. The patterning on there, you'd obviously leave as well, so you obviously could clean them up if you wanted to and scuff them up and everything else like that. But generally, it, the burring line down there really would be there in real life with rubber. So, you know, you could say it's battery fresh and leave it. You've got these torsion bars coming off. All right, you're not going to see any of these, but they're very nicely done. Very clean, very sharp. And even the blind side of the wheels, very nicely detailed. 
and everything else like that as you can see it down in there so there we go that's sprue e okay we're getting low down in here now so down here i won't get this one out we've got a couple of bits of rubber on sprue t um obviously we've got things like the end boots and everything from the main gun some hoses uh, various things in there a little bit of string which one day will be cable i suppose this guy down here again we've got the actual uh do these little windows or whatever it is down the side here or is this which we saw going running down one of the sides for some reason can't remember which one that was now but generally pretty nice all of those very nicely done clear parts not a lot of point looking at these either because they are what they are the periscope system and the headlights and obviously the rings for the system up the top there okay down in this one again we won't really pop him out we can see we've actually got the dry sprockets okay and everything else very clean very nicely done on the R there beautifully done this lot which is god help you shame it's not a click fit these are multiple part tracks which scare the bejesus out of me doing this so you know what I said about I'll have it in done time for Telford it might not have its tracks on okay watch this space what we do like is this though so down in here what we've actually got if we can open this up without making a complete hash of everything we do have if we can get it out come on come out no one's got to play ball today Let's see what who's on building it let's get in there and cut it open okay come on get out there we go so very nice piece of photo etch as you can see there so we got a lot of that grilling work some of the actual the clamps and various things like that beautifully done okay just down on there like that okay we've got this guy here which if you're wondering what it is or one of the best things you can get in a kit this is a, a ring that saves you having to buy one of these okay we do road wheels with this this is this one so it'll be a what size let me give you a size what's we're here yeah it's 19 mil okay so it's a 19 mil road wheel disc coming very handy for doing your road wheels and these which are beautiful if i can drop them this is your wing mirrors okay on the actual plastic card set like that so they're very nice to give you a great finish so there we go that is the ming fire support vehicle uh 135th scale beautiful lots of plastic worth every penny purely because the amount you get in the box and everything else i've seen this kit been made up in various different guises hans on the site's even done one of these I think John as well on the site, he's done one of these as well, and they all look absolutely stunning. So I'm really looking forward to doing this one. So if you want to join me along with the build, or if you just want one for your stash, I highly recommend the main 135th. This is the Terminator Fire Support Vehicle. <laughs>